Which one in his ear? Take much more. Get me out of here. I'm fucking throw a Molotov at him. I'm throwing a Molotov. Oh shit! I need cover. Fucking Buzan got be with him. No, no, no. I see. No! Shoot! Fuck a wound! Hey, somebody help me! Getting behind something! Ah! Fuck a wound! Stop shooting! Find his ass. Oh. Watch out! God damn it! He slipped away! Watch out! Ah! Poker won't stop shooting! <laughs> like that? Ah! Poker won't stop shooting! Don't think about it! Shoot him! Watch out! You're not with us! You're against us! He keeps killing us! Getting low! <laughs> Got him! Killing us! 
No telling where he is now. Fuck him. You out of trouble, don't I? You old? I am. How'd it go with Baka? Well, we came to an understanding. He stayed dead, not let him. Let's get back to Sammy's. Can't even tell you how happy Pops is gonna be. And this shit with the Haitians has been weighing on him. With them out of the way, things will calm down. Go back to how they should be. Been telling him for months we needed to do something like this, but Pops, he... I don't know. Sometimes I think he's lost the taste for this shit. Just because a man don't rush to violence don't mean he lost something. I know, just makes me wonder what happens after, you know? No, I don't know. Explain it to me. No matter if it's a bullet or the hand of God, we all go sometime, right? I suppose. But Ellis, we don't need to talk about I pray that Pops outlives the both of us. But if he doesn't, every motherfucker in the hollow's gonna be looking to us or gunning for us. Just saying we gotta be ready when that day comes. Yeah, well, that's not something we gotta worry about right now. So just cool it with your grand plans, all right? Yeah, all right. Fang Lankin didn't understand, or maybe want to understand, is that for a man like Sammy, there's always gonna be more Haitians. Now, if there wasn't someone going after Sammy, then there was someone else forcing him into a bad situation. It was never going in. That's how man can end up working for Sal Marcano. You were right about those Haitians being down by that old salt mine. They won't be bothering us again. It was a mistake sending you down there. I should handle my own business. This isn't any different than what I was doing before I left. You probably don't know this. But every night on the TV, right after the news, they show the names of all the boys killed over there in Vietnam. I'd be sitting in the kitchen eating my supper, watching that list scroll by, wondering if today is the day I finally see your name. But you never did. Nothing happened to me. There's only so much luck down the well. Sooner or later, pull up that bucket, there's nothing in it. So, what are we gonna do about Marcano? Pay him his goddamn money one way or the other. Lottery gonna be enough to cover it? The lottery? <laughs> no. But Sal called a bit ago. Wants you to meet him up the country club. Says he's got something in the works. Square things up between us. The only black folk allowed in there are the help. Now, they may not like it, 
But they're not going to say no to Sal Marcano. He says you get to come in, you get to come in. Fine. Always did want to see the inside of that place. You need to do whatever Sal asks, yeah? For all our sakes. Yes, sir. <laughs>